like you've never seen anything like this in your life and then there were more people in the alley and they were all screaming and yelling in tournaments too they were falling they were falling to the ground and then the next thing you know they all stopped and looked and the scene like swooped to the other to the other side of the alley and was a big group of people whites blacks they were all together and they were not in torment they had like bold look like like they were coming to, to do something they were they were coming to handle business and then it showed them like breaking up into groups like the group had broken up into like small groups like two or three people and they were like you could tell like they were planning something they were talking like some like went over to like where this tree was and they were talking and then some other people were like over by like a something like a a shed or something i think I, I can't remember clearly but this is what they were doing they were like splitting up and they were like they were like making a plan like a plan like i feel like it was a plan of execution to, like a plan to like handle something like they're about to do something when that happened it was like oh how can i describe this like okay say like how you guys are looking at the screen now you're looking at me but all of a sudden like i'm out of your vision right it was like my eyes were like the whole time focused on everything i was seeing and when it got to these people splitting up in groups it was like everything was fine and then it was like the screen or something was off and i was looking like straight now it was like looking straight down the alley but i could see the people were standing over here but it was like i knew something was watching me and i didn't want to move my eyes because they were gonna i felt like if i moved my eyes they were gonna know what i was looking at and like i was gonna like the it was gonna go off like I, that's what i felt so it was like i, I moved i felt like i moved my eyes twice i looked and when I, I was like i gotta see what's going on i gotta see what's going on and i looked at them and it's like I lost focus again. And I'm like, oh, I, I gotta see what's going on. I can't, like, something's going on and I can't see. I gotta move my eyes over and get, like, refocus to see what's going on. It was, I, I can't describe it. So I moved my, I had to, like, move my eyes again so I could see what was going on. And surely enough, like, they went off. Then I'm in this bed in this weird, in this strange room. I was like, I gotta go to sleep. I gotta wake up so I can write this down. And, and that's why I was thinking in the dream, like, I gotta write, I gotta, I gotta go to sleep and wake up so I can write this down. So I try to go to sleep. I was like, am I awake? It's like, no, I'm still in this room. You know how you have sleep paralysis and it's like something doesn't want you to be able to wake up out of the, like the bond, like the, yeah, like bondage, kind of like something's forcing you to not be able to wake up i felt like i was fighting that to wake up and i was like fighting fighting it like i'm gonna get out of this i'm gonna get out of this i need to get up i was like i need to wake up i need to wake up so i can write this down and i just fought it a little bit and i woke up and i got right up <laughs> in reality and i wrote it down i feel like i was in the spirit i feel like i was in the spirit when i saw this but i, I was just like thanking god the lord the holy spirit that i was able to see this because it was like in the spiritual that is what we look like it was like these people were in sin clearly like and like they were in bondage to demons and that's what it looks like in the spirit in the spirit realm that's what that's what we look like like we're screaming in torment you know how you could put on a happy face you smile to the world but inside you could be like hurting so bad in the spirit you can see the torment that you're in in the spirit you can see that you are literally in bondage hands behind your back some of you guys are in so much sin and bondage like you're bent over like the demons have you bent over backwards totally controlled you with a chain around your neck pulling you and leading you having their way with you leading you into sin leading you to do what they want you to do like totally destroying you after that i looked up scriptures on like bondage and this is what i found psalms 107 verse 10 such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron this is exactly what i saw these you knew these people were in some kind of sin that had them in bondage such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death sin leads to death being bound in affliction they were being they were being afflicted they were in torments bound in affliction and iron 
you could tell they, they were chained up. And because they rebelled against the words of God and, con and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, yes, and they were falling down and there was none to help them. They couldn't be helped. They were in bondage. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distress. He brought them out of the darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. So of course when you turn away from sin and you cry out to God that he will save you. Romans 8 21 because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. So you can be clearly freed from the bondage and corruption. And then let me read again. Because I was just talking about this scripture with you guys in the video on fasting. Isaiah 58, 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? God, like when this is talking about yokes and bondage, being in chains like it for real like for real for real is this is what is going on in spirit like you are literally in bondage literally in bondage in the spirit after i had this dream i was i was searching stuff online like spiritual bond like in the bondage or dreams or something see if anybody else experienced or saw anything like this too and i came across one testimony this guy said his friend was in some type of sin or something and he was going to meet him um at this like prayer group or something he told his friend that you're going to be set free tomorrow or something like that and his friend replied like i know or like he knew so that when they were in this like prayer meeting i i guess they were just like praying and then you could he was like you could feel like the presence of the holy spirit of the it was like just this overwhelming feeling his friend's hands was up in the air he was crying like he was being delivered and he was like he couldn't even open his eyes and pay attention to what was going on because this experience was like so overwhelming but he said he felt a huge angel beside him reach out towards his friend and like the angel said something in tongues like oh like I, I don't know i'm not even gonna be like the angel said something in tongues like forceful aggressively and like ripped a huge chain off of his friend like he like he could feel like the angel and heard the angel come and like rip this chain off with force like the angel was ticked off broke that chain from his friend and like his friend was delivered and set free but i'm like I started crying. I started bawling. I started crying. Like, I know what you're saying is true. I just had a dream. I could see the people in bondage. If I don't stop thinking about it, I'm gonna cry right now. But I think I put that video in my must watch playlist. That's testimony. I don't know the title, but like, I would try not to cry. But, okay so um yeah like we are like we are in serious bondage like when you think about your family you know that they don't know god they're in sin people that are in sin like we are literally in bondage these demons have us in bondage bent over backwards hands behind your back screaming in torments like it's sad like god jesus christ doesn't want to see us like that turn to god be obedient to god be set free it's really disgusting it's crazy guys if you could just see what i saw like i tried like i had to pray for help trying to explain this to you guys so you could understand and get the picture but if only you could see what I saw. This is so real. Bonds and chains is literal in the spirit. In the spirit, it's literal, literally going on in the spirit. So, if, oh, please, if anybody has seen anything like that or had any dreams like that or visions, please share it in the comments. Like, and we gotta fast, fast, break these yokes fast turn from your sin break these chains break this come out of this bondage so yeah i just wanted to share that and i don't know i, I pray that it gives you some understanding to like the spiritual war that we're really in 
how real the spiritual world is how real what this bible says is how real these words are even when in the dream i i'm well uh, I, I think it was I was in the spirit but I'm even in this dream I was thinking I have I'm gonna tell everybody I'm gonna tell everybody I've seen it now I'm telling everybody like you, you nothing you can do I've already seen it now I feel like I was I feel like I was in a room with some demons that were watching me and trying to control the situation but God let me see that and he let me get out of there and share that with you guys. I've been praying like, please let me see the ending of what was going to happen. I feel like those people that were not in bondage, they were about to cast those demons out. And that's why they were afraid. And they looked, they all stopped and looked because they were about to get some damage done to them. So Jesus tells us to cast out demons. So I feel like that's what those people were about to do and the demons they didn't want me to see that oh they were fine with letting me see people being in torments probably also to try to like cause me to have some kind of fear but no it didn't cause me any fear it just made me like feel sorry even more for people and like let them know the serious bondage that we're in and to fast and to turn away from sin but I feel like they didn't want me to see them get cast out they, they didn't want me to see the butt whooping they were about to get <laughs> from from God from Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit when they were about to be cast out of those people those people were about to be set free they didn't want me to see that part but I've been praying to see it but I haven't seen it and I was like Holy Spirit if it's if it's your will and let me see the ending of that but I guess it's not important for me to see that part maybe just for me to have faith and know like I know they were about to get their butts whooped and those demons were about to get casted and kicked out so yeah i just want to share that guys and i pray this video gives you some kind of clarification of the reality that we live in that we're in and turn to god and repent and fast love you guys and god bless you that's what i saw